one of the comments that I see is just let the oxygen and air gases mix together inside the chamber. You don't need to deliver the oxygen directly to the person's nose or mouth through a cannula or a mask. In my opinion, there's two reasons not to do this. One is a safety and the other is the efficacy. From a safety standpoint, if your chamber is designed to contain 21% oxygen, it's an air pressurized device, then the ambient oxygen level inside that chamber is never supposed to exceed 23.5%. So there's a little wiggle room for increased levels of oxygen, but not a lot. And it's very likely that if you're just mixing air and oxygen together, the ambient level of oxygen inside that chamber is going to be between 28 and 35%. And as a result, you're significantly exceeding the recommendation of ambient oxygen levels inside that chamber from a safety standpoint. From an efficacy standpoint, if you delivered the oxygen directly to that patient, maybe they're getting 80 or 90 or 95 or 100% oxygen delivered to their face at whatever pressure the chamber is set. Contrast that to mixing those two gases together where instead of 80 or 90 or 95% oxygen, now they're getting 29, 32, 35% oxygen. So if the amount of oxygen being delivered to the patient is one of the more critical components of the reason that they're using hyperbaric and you're choosing to give them 35% instead of 95%, then we're losing a significant percentage of the value of the time they're spending in that chamber.